Hi guys, welcome to TikTok. Today we're gonna do Lilo and Stitch. Let's turn the screen over. Okay. Ideas out. Alright. This is a background we did in our ombre line. I'm gonna take that out. Okay, make sure I buff it around a little bit so I can draw on with pencil and let's buff this. I'm going to hit the right button and bump you up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hello, everybody. Hi, everyone. Lena Rodriguez. Okay. Side effects. Been doing some very good work lately. Yeah. Vi effect. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and buff this. So let's draw Lila first and then we draw Stitch. See Lila right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have a mechanical pencil with me. Oh. What happened? You got gifts. Oh. You got to do the the thing. What, what did they send you? They say, thank you for the, do your AI. <laughs> AI version. Thank you. For the <laughs> gift. Thank you for the gift. Hello, Carp, Carp, Carpe DM. Hello. Chris Levin 313. Oh, they sent you a TikTok. How, how does AI respond to that? Thank you for the TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Kelly. <laughs> Hello, Grace. Okay, drawing her mount. I still need to watch the show, you guys. I haven't even watched the show yet. You're kidding. Yeah, I haven't watched Lilo and Stick yet. Definitely need to watch it soon. Okay, down here it's a little harder for me to draw because I haven't even buffered it all the way. Oh my gosh. Buffered. Tino is doing Lilo. Lilo and Stitch. Is it Lilo or Leo? Lilo. Lilo. Hello, my style. Hi, my style.
some of your blue dye. Tino is currently using a magical pencil. A magical pencil. <laughs> A little difficult to draw on just because it's matte already. I'm trying to see where I have buffered it, but it's really hard to see. I should have bushan first and then I buff it, it'd be easier. But over here, I don't know which one is matte and which one is not. The next nail, I gotta push on, on so I can draw easily on it. Finger right here, not the fingers. Hello, Tanasha. Hi, Tanasha. Okay. Now this hand, I've got a shine then buff it all the way so it's easy for me to draw because that other background is a matte background and I buff it but it's so hard to see which one you already buff and which one you haven't buff okay hear this hippie love says does the music not make you a little anxious mm -mm. sounds like a speed sped up monsters Okay. Hi, Tons. Hello, Ray. So I'm following a bunch of people from the Dustino account. Hopefully you will follow back so that Tino can get his views up enough to have double screen. Double screen live. <laughs> Lens. <laughs> But this now I can see where I haven't buffed because everything is shiny, so it's easier to see. Okay, before it's matte and I couldn't see. Now I just have to buff the shine up. Justine says, I got my brush set in rose gold in the mail today. I'm excited to use it. Mm -hmm. You're going to love that pixie gold. Okay, let's draw a stitch. Now I'm ready. Yes, yeah, much easier. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, the face comes to about right here, and then follow the mount all the way to here and the ear. Yeah, right here too. So would it be good advice that when they are drawing with a pencil to mm -hmm. not worry about it being too exact? Yes. Because they're going to be painting over it? Yes. But you want to ascend up direction. Just that's a all. rough draft. <laughs> rough draft. You're supposed to go. Thank you for the rose. Thank you for the rose. It smells so good. It smells so good. <laughs> Is that good AI? Yep. Yeah. Kinda. Sound like an AI 900 hotline. Oh. <laughs> That's not bad. Thank you for the roses. Okay, let's paint them in. First is Lilo. <clears throat> I need a brown and a white. I don't like this music. You like it? Mm -hmm. It's different. It's like combination music. Yeah. Uh, brown and some halo. Halo. I kind of feel that's your new favorite. I love this. Make things glow. Just a tiny bit more. That's it.
clean this a little bit first. Oh, stiffish. Mm -hmm. with Aston. Stiffish. Sorry, it's faster. Hello, Tara. Hi, Tara. Good day, Jamie. So, <clears throat> let me just let you know, Jamie. Um, I've been reposting your work with with your clients. Oh. And no comment, no comment, no comment. And then this last week, she has done several art nails. Uh-huh. It's not on clients. Oh. And I have got three different replies on what good work it is. So I don't know what we got to do to get you more on the art side. Good job, Jimmy. Well, she's in a struggle because she her clients don't get the stuff that she's capable For of. Now. For now. For those kind of clients. For now. Maybe at the end of the session with the with the boring ones, she could say something like, oh, I can't wait till my next client. They always allow me to do fun artwork <laughs> on them. You know, Lens, when your when your artwork is, she said, how do I find people who want these nails? Everybody wants them, most everyone. And your work's good enough, you just have to put yourself out there. Kiss. this. Let's see, Stitch. I do it later. Let's do this one first. I need a mm, white for the eyes and I think I'm done with the brown so let's erase it I need a red so I'm gonna chew eggplant this eggplant take our eggplant mixed with red Oh, this is pink. Sorry. I'm going to do a red. Mix with a little bit of white. Okay, just like this. And then that little white right here. And with just a little bit of that residue left, mix a lighter color for the tongues. And then some green. Ooh. What's that? Well, Lynn says, I've gotten a lot of hate from fellow nail technicians I went to school with. Good, good. Um, 
them and now that now I won a competition. Honestly, I wouldn't think that many people would be alive that she went to school with. Why? Oh. Because, well, <laughs> well, I didn't want to say she's old. You know, maybe she went to school way later in life. I need advice on how to narrow down designs. My head is full of ideas, but there's only 10 nails. Ooh. Yeah, if you have enough idea for two sets, then do two sets. Don't try to squeeze it all into one. <laughs> Make sure uh, don't overcrowd your nail with uh, different idea. Keep it cohesive. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> oh, she she say um she say thank you that exactly my problem is not cohesive because I want to fit everything in. Yes, if you have enough idea for two sets or even three set then leave it at that don't try to squeeze it but on the good news, at least she's not struggling with ideas right right yeah it's all good totally agree <coughs> Said, what's he say? What's he say? I gotta go back over here. It says, Yes, <clears throat> I've had a few of those clients, but I find a lot of my clients just want to gossip about, gossip about other clients. Yeah. And then Link said, Tell them you aren't in, or Tara said, Tell them you're not interested in gossip. I never listen to gossip, I leave. We're pro gossip. We want to hear the gossip. <laughs> we, we want to know. I don't know if this is Christmas music or. Mm hmm.
Alexa, play no copyright music. Here's some music by no copyright on Amazon Music. I need red. green on this one get this take some brown out The oceans are so hot that there is 19 expected hurricanes predicted. Oh, that's creepy. That's creepy. Like in Missouri, more and more every day. I know, right? <laughs> I need some brown. I forgot some brown for the feet. Heck no, I'm going on a cruise August 6th out of Florida. Oh my God, are you serious? Good luck. Be careful, Kia, this. Be careful. That sounds dangerous. Oh my goodness, the, the ocean was 98 degrees. Oh. That would be nice. Happy. Well, Grace, we, we, we truly are so much the same. <laughs> she said, I wouldn't travel the water at all. It freaks me out just the thought of it. Tino, on the other hand. I love the ocean. <laughs> Get this.
And then I need black. And I'll take shadows. Shadow? Yes. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you mean it for babies? Hmm? Are we having a side conversation over What's here? that about? <clears throat> well, whenever we fake our deaths. Uh huh. So Grace has anointed herself. Uh huh. Our adopted child. So that means she'll be in charge of everything. Uh huh. You know? I take good care of them. <laughs> <laughs> the fur babies. <laughs> Hello, Daisy. Hi, Daisy. I started following you from the Destino account. Please follow back. Hi, Antino. Hi. Hi, Daisy. <cười> Nãy giờ là mình dùng là treo không á nha Mình không có dùng uh, art gel Chứ dùng treo pen chỉ dùng treo thôi Hello Alicia Hernandez from Mexico Hi Alicia Bougie fur babies What what you say? What she say? She's talking about taking care of the uh -huh. fur babies She said they'll be Bougie. Oh, hell yes. They already are. Spoiled ass. <laughs> Who is this exactly? Is that? Just uh, Lilo. Lilo? Yes. I thought Lilo was the pink. Lila, as uh, an angel. Uh, yeah, we need to watch. 
watch this show sometimes. Okay, let's go ahead and clear this. I just detail the rest with art gel. It's make me feel safer. Hmm. <clears throat> you ought to take a drink of water while you're on okay. downtime. Lilo and uh, Tara say Lilo and Stitch movie is awesome. The background are all watercolors. Oh, really? So, is that a movie or is it a cartoon? Uh, a I believe or? it is a show, but they also have a cartoon. They have movie too, but I believe that the whole thing is a show. It started out with a show anyway, I believe. Oh, Lilo and Stitch are the movie, Tara say. Movie, movie and, show. and show. Oh. Started with the movie, then the show. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, Lilo is sweet but very aggravated. Often. I watched a new cartoon movie called Nimona. Nimona? What's that about? Netflix with the kids. The main character is a gay knight. What? <laughs> what, what, what? Oh, that's cool. Is it like a fantasy? What is it? I just want to see a sword. <laughs> well, it's a cartoon, so... Do you know how many episodes we have left for, for Demon Slayer? I believe we have about a good five episodes. A good one. Uh, we might have more. It's so good though. I love Demon Hunters. Mm -hmm. It's silly. But yet kind of... Serious at the same time. Yeah. It's like there's a little hidden... Humor behind Humor it. Humor behind it. Yes. And also learning lesson. Yes. We have not watched the new Witcher. I need to do uh, Demon Hunter now, soon. Hello, Madlinger. Hi, Madlingers. Cabinet of Curiosities. We have not, but I, mm -mm. I kind of wanted to. You know, we really don't watch that much TV, hardly ever. We try to use it as a treat. Yeah. Once in a while, we find something good, and then we binge it for a few days, and then we go back on boring time. I shouldn't say boring time. Nope, I work every day. I don't have time to be bored. I have a lot of projects to do.
we watched a lot of Lucifer and then we just kind of got bored with it and Here, let's do stitch. Yeah, we kind of we're kind of pro vampire stuff too. Yes. Oh, vampire diary. No, interview with the vampire. The TV series was oh, awesome. It's my favorite. forget the outline or other bracelet okay I need this and oh okay I need blue yeah I need to outline the other bracelets too we just haven't got to that one yet okay so now let's make this color for stitch so that is what colors um, this one is ultramarine mixed with aqua. Aqua. Ultra yes. And aqua. Yes. Now we need uh, aqua and turquoise. Okay, mix it together. And I need a little white to brighten this up. Well, hello, Dangerous Nail Tech. Hi, Dangerous Nail Tech. Okay, and black for the eyes. <coughs> so we're not sure when the new color gels are going to be available. Um, Tino did, did his part of the process and now we're just waiting on Cindy to get time. We are doing fantastic this evening. Ah, uh, brush. Oh. I just put mine, what I use, right here. Oh, where's it go? I just have it. Is it underneath? Hmm. Like right here? Yes. Okay. Hello, Sunny60. Eight and I owe you one. Oh. Ashley. Oh, this is a different. This Ashley. is a new Ashley. New and improved. Oh. Oh, Tara said, "Sorry, I'm back. My phone died. We didn't even know that she was gone." Oh my God! How could you? But we should be like, "Oh my goodness, we missed you so much." Tara. How could you? 
Oh, I bet she was feeding her family and her kids. Of course she was. Oh, go ahead, Dad. Two a.m. Ooh, Ash is going to an attempt a Halloween set from okay. last year by Tino. Yay! I should do Halloween very soon. Yes. Your dedication does not go unnoticed, Tara. I hate hearing it's two o'clock in the morning, though. Soon, I want, I want to, I want to tell you my thoughts. I might text it this evening on uh, the workshop deal because I, I feel like <clears throat> you laugh it off, but that's something you could actually do and be good at. Um, it's Tino's polish. He mixed 50% aqua and 50... Um, uh, 50% aqua and 50% um, ultramarine. Or maybe a little bit less ultramarine. Hello, Miss Peaches. Hi, Miss Peaches. But it haven't, uh, it's not available on the website yet. It will soon. The polish. It's called Color with a K. Lexstasy says, first time catching you live. Love your work. Thank you, so honey. Much. Well, I know that's what you're going to answer, Tara. That's why I got to call and talk to you. You could be passing up an yeah, opportunity this. just because you're uncomfortable. But look at Tino. This isn't easy for him, and look how far he's come. Okay, let me stand glass gels. For shading, this is number 12, by the way, that I'm going to use, number 12. <laughs> Full self doubt. So I gotta talk to her in person. <laughs> Is it workshop? Do you know where you teach people? Mm -hmm. Okay. You don't have to be quick to teach anything, you just have to know what you're doing. You have to be ready. You have to be ready. <laughs> when I first started to teach, the only thing that I doubt for is is the way I talk to people, not the nails. The nail, I'm sure that I make have every de detail down. You have to make sure of that part. Once you find the format and the way to get them to ask questions and stuff, isn't yeah. it great? That's a mental, mm -hmm. that's a mental part. That's what I have to struggle with is a mental part. But the technical part, I got it down. Now it's down.
What size yeah. nail are you using? I am using, I, I keep only one size, XXXL. That is on a Tine Voda shop. That is, I will only carry one size. Homework to send. Yeah. Take black, mix it with a little ultramarine and aqua to make a really deep navy blue. <coughs> Get this. Mix a little bit of white back in here. She looks a little mischievous. You didn't wash it supposed to? I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I'm like you. I've never washed it. She did look mischievous. Summer carnival nails, okay. Oh, they said she is mischievous. Oh, well, you drew her uh -oh. mischievousness to wow. recognition from a novice. Wow, that's impressive. How can you view previous weekly lives? So the ones on uh, on Instagram are safe immediately. On the TinoVo.shop page or Dreamtime Crystals. Yeah. If it's a crystal related. The ones on TikTok. Um, Some of it on YouTube. He puts it on YouTube every few weeks. Yeah. I still haven't booted Ninja Turtle. On, uh, what's the other part I did? Oh, uh. I think Dara and Jen is on already. Yeah, I think they are. I don't really keep uh, YouTube or TikTok very organized. It's not very appealing to you. Yeah. Next time when you... But you get to see the finished result when I post on my Instagram. I've tried to watch him to figure it out myself, but he moves so quick with that phone, I can't... You blink and he's done. Quick fingers. Tino, are these new colored gels need top coat? Yes, they do. Could I have it to where you can adhere pigment onto them? So they have an inhibition layers. Part of it because it's also lasts very long. It doesn't chip or anything like that. So it's neat it inhibition layers. Neat it. 
cure this. Oh, actually, I'm gonna put some black on on the eyes. Cure this. So shadow? Uh this right here. The black is shadow. This is thank last chair number twelve. Oh, that's what I meant. Look at that shading just bam. <laughs> like Doggy Swords Tail is talking about him. <laughs> Sometime within the next week, we will Lilo and Stitch, okay? We will what? We will watch the show, one of the movies. Okay. Actually red. Remember this color is very tricky. It looks like pink, but it's actually not pink. Red and a little white. Okay, I'm adding a little white onto this blue. I'm gonna add in to stitch too to give him some highlight. Brush it out, brush it out. some highlight on the arms too. Bring your brush. this 
Let's go ahead and mat this. Mm, before I mat this, I should add a little white into her iris. Which one? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay, some whites right here. Okay, and some black onto the green. Actually, no. Cut this. Some ultramarine under the cream. Ooh, Stitch is an experiment made by an alien mad scientist. Okay. Oh. He escapes Earth. Lilo adoptable adopted him for a dog from a dog shelter. Oh. He sounds crazy like our minds. <laughs> we will like it. That's fun. Mm hmm. Hello, Chrissy Beauties. Hello. Look at this. Here. And let's not forget this have little teeth. 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 Baby teeth. So a little white. Mm, let's mix with just a tiny bit of green and brown. <coughs> to make it a little up white. Hello, Lita. Get this. Okay, now I'm ready to mat this. Is 
is my favorite part. Get this, 60 seconds. Now I do need some land. I, I do need to level this out a little bit before I put land on. Just level it a little bit? Yes. Just a thin layer, not much. Now I'm ready for detailing. And at Capehart, I'm following you from Tino's other account, the Dustino account. Oh, I need to cut. I, I forgot the color is here. I need to. I kind of think the ears would make them exceptionally cute. Mm -hmm. That and the eyes. <clears throat> Are we adding bling? Uh-uh. Pure heart. I'm still using seven millimeters. Say so love watching <laughs> Tino paint outline. <laughs> I just wanted to hear Tino say blings. <laughs> Who? Who say that? Uh, link, links. links. <laughs> I add an S on everything when I say blinks. Tanya say Tara, me too. He's so precise and steady, right? Oh, thank you, Tanya. Lindsay, I just love it. Tanya yeah. say, exactly like watching the brush dance. <laughs> the brush dance. I, I, I think, and this is what's always good about having two cameras, that 
a lot of people get stuck not changing their hand positions. Mm -hmm. And that's something that you do kind of automatically. But that is the key to it. Oh, Dance for Trina says, even though I'm not in the nail industry, I love watching the lives. Oh, thank you. This has become an expression now today. Quickly, too. Have a nail chain from just, uh, I would say, 10 years. I am following Dance for Trina and Melissa. For you. Hear this. I'm gonna mix the uh, colors for the ear eggplant and blue. Melissa say, you make it look so effortless easy. <laughs> Thank you, Melissa. <laughs> it's not my first rodeo. <laughs> Renee say, you should have a study hand. I shake like a leaf. Love your video. Thank you, Renee. Okay, now. I think I'm done with more things. I'm done with most thing. Cut this. I'm thinking leave these alone because it's really elegant just like this. Mm -hmm. I like it. I don't want it to be too much because these I can put some crystal on right here and I will just complete the scene. Forget this out on the teeth. Oh, mm. oh okay. yeah. And now it's got piranha mouth. That's why I tell Dustin the only 
uh, reason why alien look cute because you don't see their teeth. <laughs> right? So what true. if they have sharp teeth? Are they still cute? No. If they have piranha teeth, they are not cute aliens anymore. Difference between running and greetings, my friend. Okay, cute this. Really? Is that your favorite character? Uh, um, I need, I need, um. I need more character like this. I know everybody loves Stitch. I know everybody loves Stitch. So, um, Lion King I did today. I think everybody loves Lion King too. Mad everything's. Flintstones. The Flintstone? Yes. Okay. Okay. I'll do Flintstone design. Cape Man. Uh, the videos will be uploaded on YouTube at probably next two weeks. Yeah. I really don't know when I'm going to upload what. For TikTok. Because TikTok is different than Instagram. Instagram, I get to save it immediately. TikTok, I have to wait few hours first for it to completely upload on the website then after it's upload I gotta go in download it to my phone then then that is when I can upload on YouTube and all the process I have to wait for like a while oh, yeah. not like Instagram because Instagram the live already safe in the archive you should post it right after it's easier yeah. on TikTok I don't let you post it it take like so you an have hour to for it somewhere and then it loads up. Right, but it don't, it don't save immediately. After I'm done with the live, it's processing it. So it took a couple hours for it to even process for you to be able to download. Oh. Then I have to download to my phone. We take like 20 minutes or so. If it's fast, if it's slow, then about 40, 45 minutes for it to download the whole two hour live into my phone. Then from the phone, I have to download it to YouTube, upload it to YouTube, which the, it's not quick neither. It's not like a few seconds In like the Instagram. Meantime, you need to be using your phone for right. Else. So sometimes I forgot about it. That makes sense. Like Instagram, it took literally a minute for me to just post a whole live that I just did on Instagram. That's why all my Instagram live have been saved. But TikTok, I'm still right. It's organized with TikTok. Oh my god, look at these. They're adorable. I love it. It's so cute. Oh my god. They're both cute actually. Oh, I love it. Here, leave it like that. And then bedazzle something right here too. Okay. Alright, everyone. <laughs> and I have a little scratch right here. My plan is just, just to file it. So I followed a bunch of people from Tino's backup account, the Dustino account. Please follow back. <laughs> There's a set you did that is online with your products. I dream about at night. Oh, Ooh. yeah? What is it? Oof. What I bet, do you? I bet it's mocha cobra. Mocha cobra. Mocha cobra have like a million hit, more than a million hit. That was last year, and they're on short now too. All right, you guys. This is your Stitch and Lilo. Oh, you know, maybe some Hawaiian flowers. It should be on the thumb, though. Yeah, I try to leave this alone. Let it be. We did not watch Fraggle Rock. Fraggle Rock, we did not. I 
think you'll love it. Forgot all about it. Hmm, I try to think, should I do some palm leaf? Do you think that this should be left like this? I really do think so. I do too. It's elegant. It's beautiful and elegant. On the thumb, I might do some like Cause... white tropical flower or something. Well, it just it makes it speak for the beautiful ombre. Yeah. Because, I mean, if I want seashell, uh, ocean wave, palm tree, I'll take that and then make another set. I'm not going to try to fit everything in here. It will make it less attractive because there's, there's people that love stuff like this. And then there's people that love stuff like this. So if you're able to accommodate both, look, you know what I mean? You get more cu customer or you get more audience than just doing, you know, one thing. So I'm trying to be elegant and I try to be a little sassy in the middle too. And then when I put bling on, that's game over. You know what I mean? Like on the cuticle right here, that's it. curious if this was the nail. She said when you did 3D jelly, I'm wondering if that's the nail. That must be it right here. The mocha curious, cobra. Curious. Ah! Wow. Oh, really? That's wow. pretty good. Yes. That's pretty good. I dream about that one, too. Why do you even have this? Because I'm, I'm preparing our, our, our near-death experience. Why do you even have that nail? Oh. Where do you spell that Honey, wrong? you're not watching me. Alright, everyone. This is for the live today. <sighs> to go ahead and set everything up. I am ready to watch some uh, Demon Hunter. It's my favorite. Can you answer a quick question Go for ahead. me? Go ahead. Who said that? Hi, Pirate Summers. Thank you. Thank Hello, you, Tara. Eleven three one three. It's not really a quick question. It's a long question. When, when you, you sugar with glitter, what gel do you use? Okay, so glitter are different than acrylic. Um, when you uh, sugar with acrylic, it can soak all the way into the gels. So you, with acrylic, you can use like a normal gel or an art gel, be fine, gel paint. But sugar is different. Sugar just flow on the top. You you cannot let the, uh, the glitter... Um, so completely into your acrylic or L, you're not gonna see the glitters. So when you do it with sugar, you want a thinner gel, thinner gel so the glitter can be soaked into the gel easier. And because what what happened is when the sugar is floating on the top, if the gel is a thick gel or gel with a lot of pigments, then the light gonna kill the sugar and then it's gonna have a hard time penetrating to the bottom of the gel. So if you have like let's say a black gel paint, if you have a really pigmented black gel paint, what you should do when you sugar it with glitters is you smit uh, some clear gel into the black gel paint. It don't have to be top coat, it can be like a 3D jelly or a builder gel. So that way, the pigment is more dilute and the gel, the light will be able to cure it much easier. So for glitter, you want something that are curable. So a thinner gel will be ideal. Or if a thick gel, then you don't want to just leave it floating on top, the glitter floating on top like that. It's like an iceberg. When it's fro, the bottom is still wet. So for a gel pan, you want to dilute it with some clear gel. Not necessary to make it thinner, just to dilute the pigment. So when I have a black gel pen, I mix it with 3D jelly. So it's still thick. It just now have more clear in it. So dance for Trina, Trini. So right. are you clear texture gel? Yes, you can. You can. 
he did do a Moana. That's yes. On, that's on your Instagram, isn't it? Uh, yes, on a short nails. On short nails. On short nails. All things, too. So, I can do a Moana live sometime. You're welcome, hippie love. This is so cute. Mm -hmm. I'm so bad every I'm so glad uh, how do you ombre sugar flour on top of chrome how do you ombre sugar powder not how do you ombre sugar powder on top of chrome or flour I'm not sure I understand that question let me see let me find that question again how to do sugar Ombre sugared flour on top of chrome. Okay, so you have a chrome background. It don't have to be chrome. It can be whatever colors. Um, and then you draw some flowers. And then you sugar it. And you wanted to know how you do an ombre sugar. So what you do is you use a brush. Usually when I sugar, I just draw you a spoon. But if you want to sugar two color and you want it to blend to each other, you use a brush. And what you do is you take in a brush and you dip into the powder. Color acrylic is most what I mostly use. And I dip it into the color powder and this is what I do. I tap it so it's sprinkling on the surface. So like let's say on purple mixed with pink. So I sprinkle purple on one end. And then I start to make it fall off. And that is a tricky process because you have to make sure that it's all even. And when it falls evenly, when it's faded evenly, you go in with the next colors. I believe I have a life on that, but it's a long time ago. Last year, uh, is this a ask me anything? It's always an ask me anything, Matt. <laughs> Why? What do you want to ask, Max? <laughs> yes, um, the one that I ombre sugar, which I need to go light on that because it's a very intricate, tedious process. I might do live on that once before, but I forgot what what is it. But yes, that's a technique that I need to go live on. It will be on Instagram though, so you can see it. So I can save it. And you can see it. Um, what do you see in Dustin? <laughs> What? <laughs> he said, what do you see in Dustin? <laughs> oh, I know, right? Thank you, Tino. I appreciate you. You're welcome, Liana. Uh, Tino, can't wait for the next... Let Friday. Friday, I still have three more. Sad. Uh, Harry Potter, I think I do it alone on Harry Potter's. Because when sometimes I have to deal with portrait, I want to deal with it alone. I don't have to try to want to fit it in the camera. It's tricky for me. Let's see. Just last uh, minute question. Let me read some question. I am so glad that my face went back to normal. Yesterday, it was so scary. No, Harry Potter. I think I'll do it alone on Harry Potter. Yesterday, my face, I eat something and I just have all this hype that popping up and it's so itchy. And it's like all over my face. I was so scared. I'm like, what's going on? It's literally like a witch's face. It's so weird. I think I might still have some. Scary. Like, I think there's some. There's some bum right here-ish. But it's so, like, bumby everywhere. It's like an allergic reaction. Um. Friday, I think that I would do a... I don't know what I'm going to do Friday. Oh, next, uh, I want to do a next uh, laboratory, but I might do it on, on uh, TikTok. Dry hydro colorzone cream is it's over now. It's over now, thanks goodness. But yesterday was like the second time it's happened, so I wasn't prepared. But 
you think it's al allergy? But I don't know what is uh, what I'm allergic to though. Nothing we've eaten that was different. What's weird? It's a, this one um on create on another before just on one technique about a one sixty replay doing art um. He just this one on ombre and the other before. Yes. Um. So on Instagram, if you click on my highlight, that is a technique heaven right there. So I have texture gel, ply. So everything you need about didn't know about texture gel is on there. There's no more, shouldn't be no more question to ask. You just click on the texture gel and there'll be everything on there. Um, ombre. I just did yesterday. I save it on my highlight too. That's my second live. And ombre, I have four different techniques for you. So one using sponge. You can use any gel. You can use any color you like. Like dark color, light colors, whatever you like. Um, brush technique. Brush ombre technique. You need proper gel. You need a gel that are semi-transparent that are perfect for ombre. So I have demonstrate brush technique ombre too. And then our ombre is kind of cool and unique and then vertical ombre which many people have that are strickies. I have vertical ombre in there and it's beautiful. It's perfect. So that is an ombre heaven. Uh, I think it's about an hour and a half or two hours. I'm not sure. But every information that you need to know about ombre is right there. Double vertical ombre are easy. Double vertical ombre are, are just vertical ombre, really. So you did in vertical ombre, and you can see the instruction is on the highlight. And then what you do is you just do another one, and you just erase it. It's easy. Double vertical ombre, I consider that a design, not a technique. I don't know. I don't know what I'm allergic to. Okay, so the day before I eat steak, I eat a little sushi with in washed salmon and white fish, and then oh rib, Korean rib, sorry. And then I have this spicy uh, Cajun spicy season that I have that are super spicy. So that's it. And then yesterday. I eat steak again. I'm really thinking that it might be beef. And then that season again. And some green bean. So that's pretty much it. And immediately my whole face. So I'm thinking it might be beef. I don't really want to admit that. I just have to like test it one at a time. Mm, not red dye season. It's called flat land. It's, it's, it's super spicy. It's some kind of pepper, like a ripper, Carolina ripper peppers. Something that you thought your skin pollen may be out of control. No, because it just happened like every time I eat, it happened after I eat and then I sleep and tomorrow is gone. I really don't think that it's season, uh, pollen. You think the seasoning? I, I don't know. I really love that seasoning. I hope not. I just don't want to be allergic to anything. I love eating. It's such a downer that I'm having an allergic reaction. Hi. This week, I'm gonna. Okay, so con content. I am catching up on my content finally. So this week, I have one, two, three four different video to make no problem it's gonna be done in one day uh product i need to upload i need to make um white silicone happen good people are eager to use it so clear silicone will take a day then i have a day left i really want some time for technique development what I have been doing forever. Technique development are not like design. I crank it out design every single day. Um, I can do two, three, even four, even five different looks every day. It keep on going and going. But design, uh, but technique development are different. Like each of my technique, it took me like a week or two to make like one technique. Technique are like basic of the basic 
because you don't need any art skill. It never go more than like two or three layers. It's something that depends on product. So something simple but clever and tricky. Tricky. The results are tricky. So that takes a long time just to analyze it and look at the product and just be inspired and then make a technique. Like my smoke technique, rainbow smoke technique. My wood technique using brown ink. Ombre is one of my techniques too. The children, I dream of that part. Kira Sky have adopted it as one of their technique, but it's my original, the sugaring part. That is a tricky part. Um, emboss, emboss, 3D emboss, the alligator skin that using uh, texture effect gel. What is your favorite products that you have created? I have so many babies. Um, clear silicone have made me very happy. So far, I have a flat with silicone. I'm like a kid in a candy store. But my favorite. I'm back and forth between 3D jelly and clear texture gels. They both have their own uniqueness. I will have to say clear texture gel. That definitely is my favorite. But, I mean, metal fat gel is my first baby. You to make chrome. But Actually, you know, when it comes to design, it just, it just depends on what I'm doing. I think it's unfair to love your first child all the way through. When I think it's unfair to say that that is my favorite because when it comes to design, it just depends on what I'm doing. Well, do it like the parents do. I love all my children equally. If I do emboss, yes. I love clear touch your child. I l I will dive into clear touch your child. I'll be all about clear touch your child. But if I'm not doing emboss, if I do a cartoon character, then clear touch your child no longer my favorite. If I do a cartoon character, I head it toward colors. It's one of my products. And then stained glass gel is definitely will be my favorite. Yes. To forgot about about stained glass gel because I wasn't talking about cartoon. But when you're talking about cartoon characters, stained glass gel is an absolute favorite. And then art gel will help me too. And then all the opera. So it just really depends on what I'm doing. I am so excited to play with clear texture gel. Yes, the possibility absolute endless. You already see it, and it's not even my my last live. I'm gonna have more live on clear texture gels. I actually want to try basic nail technique from watching you the last two days. And you know, I will do more. I can only do one big live a week though. Because the big live is a lot. I have to prepare for it. But I'm very happy with my first two lives. Especially the ombre live. The amount of people watching are double than my first live. It's incredible. Everybody love ombre. So I'm thinking next is to teach Lanwood. That's also will be a big one. I'm debating next Sunday should I do pigment or Lanwood? Mm. So I'm so eager to have a life and just pigment too. I think I think line work personally because that teaches them the control of the brush, the angles. Right. And that'd be like the first step. I have to sit down and figure out what to uh, pass on to people. That is a lot in line work that I have to pass it on to people. First, it's just one screen. I need to show people my locking, my triple lock system, how to hold people's hand. That's one thing. It's a locking strategy. Second thing is breath usage. That was take about 30 minutes because the difference between long brush and short brush that people should know the material that people use and how to low gel into the brush so that right there is a whole field of its own and then um angle and direction that's another thing too beside materials and then breathing that's another thing that's just so many and then speed and pressure that's another thing that is just so many to talk about in line work i need to write it all down i i cannot come up with just all of it okay and just thinking about we're it we're taking a two minute poll okay on 
whether they want line work or, or pigment. Pigment. Two minutes. Oh, in a poll. A can, poll. Can, can I see can, the poll? Uh, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, for line work, because all of that little thing I have developed over time, so it become automatic. But for me to teach it, and then for someone to learn that, that is a lot of things. And what happened is people have to learn it from theory and to practice. They don't dive into practice immediately. They have to watch and read and try to memorize everything about it. And then practice it slowly and over time. And I'm talking about six months to a year of practicing <coughs> over and over and over again. It becomes a muscle memory. So they don't need to every time to, to think about the step. Because there's no way you th can think about the step in line work that's like 10, 15 different steps that you have to actually embody it for it to be a muscle memory. I, like language. When you speak a language, you don't stop and try to translate in your head and try to go over all the grammar. No, it's automatic. So you need to, to make your language become your language, basically. You have to be automatic. All natural and automatic. All natural. And it takes a long time for you to train that muscle memory. That's why in class, when people teach in language, it was hilarious. Because they literally, the tech is really just on the camera, just doing line work and color block. And all the students were like, just watching. Oh, it's so amazing. But that's literally teaching nothing. Because land work, there is no way that in a two-day class you can embody land work. It's forever, just from, from the theory alone. And then it takes forever for you to like practice it, for you to be like, for it to be yours. You know what I mean? That muscle memory is very hard to adapt, you know, because you already have your own muscle memory, not necessarily the right one. But you already have your own muscle memory that it could be bad muscle memory. You have to get rid of that. And embodying a new one. Let me see. 70 on line work and 29 on pigment. Mm -hmm. mm. All right. The, the, masses, huh? the masses have spoken. And that is just line work, you now, guys. Now, can I, can I say something about your concept on teaching line work? Okay. The, you're absolutely correct about everything you said. But, but, your statement that you don't feel you could teach it online as effective... I think with your new format, no, 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 no. Doing it, I, I think they'll get it. I really do. No, you did not hear me. Okay, I, I say there is no way you can teach a two-day in-person class with land work. Now, you can pass on to them the, all the information they know in two days. Yes, you can pass on to that information. But as a workshop format, what people expect is they come in not knowing land work and then they come out able to do land work there is no way it might take a class or it might take even two days it's way enough time to pass on the knowledge but the training process that is an everyday process for like six months to a year because if they train in one day and they know how to do land work the next day they stop doing it the muscle memory is gone it flew out the window you have to train it every day for you to embody it naturally. Because the first day I learned language, right? I, when I want to say, how are you doing? What I have to do is to translate from Vietnamese to English, right? And then I have to say how, what, when, or, you know what I mean? Who, and then which, and then the to be is or is was, were, you know what I mean? I had went to all that and then doing. So I have to construct this, a sentence. So a sentence that take about, let's say, a second. How are you doing? It could take me a minute to even speak it. So a paragraph, it could take me hours to even construct it, a paragraph. So does that mean that I can speak the language? Sure. But it's supposed to be automatic. So that is a process I have to went to for years of intense practicing to build my language muscle memory that now I can talk like this. I can talk like this without trying to translate into my head, 
or trying to go to other grammar, same with language. You know, my, your first day, this is what you're gonna be like. You're gonna sit down and then you're gonna check your arm, see how you look right. And then you take your brush out and then in your head, you're gonna go through all this step of how to loan the pain, how to stroke the pain. And then when you start painting, you're gonna remember, oh, Tino say that when you're not ready to touch the surface, you hover the brush. And when you're ready, you touch the brush. And then you're gonna try to remember, oh, Tino say that when you move, you have to change your angle. You're gonna went to all that in your head. So it will take you like 10 minutes to do land work. Right. But it's supposed to be done in like three seconds. You know what I mean? So that is a process where you train to the point where you just sit down like me and you don't think about anything. You just go ahead and do it and chit chat. At the same time, when you do land work, that is an automatic process. So this will take a while to embody it. So I'm excited. I'm going to write all that de detail down. I want to make sure that I don't skip out on anything. Because once um, I teach a lie, I don't go back on the same subject. I could use some advice. I started a Vietnamese salon and everyone keep telling me I'm slow. Okay. Again, in a Vietnamese salon, there is an environment that you are in. You are in a hustle, bustle environment. Which means they want you to do it quickly so you can make quick money. They want money. Um, manicure, sure. Pedicure, sure. Go fast through it. They don't necessarily want repeated client. They just want money now. Now. So if you can, you can. But it depends on what kind of artist you are. Because for me, I want to make sure that I only do a few different sets a day and have a lot of money. And for me to be able to do that, I have to slow down to perfect my skill and then produce a quality work. So my client will respect me. They will come back to me. It will build your client in longevity. Vietnamese salon don't care about that. You're just a tour. You work there. They want money, money, money right away. So it depends on what you're in for. If you're just in for the money, yes, go ahead. Speed it up, speed it up. And if you can speed it up and maintain the quality, then that client will come back to you. That's even better. If you speed it up and you skip through process, the client like, ugh. And you can trick them a little bit by uh, do everything nice and have a nice resort. But when they go home, after a couple of days, it's my chip. You know, the polish my chip and all that. So you might be able to trick them once. You're not going to be able to trick them they're not going to come They're back to remember. you. Either way, it's fun in the Vietnamese salon. They don't really care about that. They just really want to be hurry up so you can hustle some money. Because money is important here. So depending on what environment uh, do you want to be in and what you're aiming forward to. You know what I mean? You want a career on this? Then should buy the bullet through it in the Vietnamese salon. Do what they say. Try to hurry up a little bit, you know, try to focus on the hustle environment. But when you go home at night, practice. When you go home at night, you spend time alone. I do that in the beginning. I work with my mom and dad. It's a Vietnamese salon. I try to hustle, but I still try to keep the quality up. And it's very hard. But at night, I spend time alone and practice for hours. My mom think I was crazy. I literally stay for hour and I do all this beautiful art and spend hour and hour after work on just practice. Nobody understand why. At that point, I wasn't really clear my direction. All I know is that I love art and I want to do some art. And then I practice acrylic because I want to be better. I want to be quality, but also fat at the same time. So I spend all that hour practice. Nobody know why. But now, I don't need to work that hard. I don't have to try to hustle about 10, 15 different sets. That's too much work. You know what I mean? I only do like three or four sets a day. And that is equal amount of money that they get even better. And you were getting more better quality out than anyone else. Right. And when my book is filled, I no longer care about how to schedule my client because all my client is standing client. 
I already have them scheduled in, in advance. You, you know? knew when you woke up, who was coming, how long you were going to be doing them, everything. And it was easy peasy at that point. And wait until you can select your client even better. Because then you don't, if your client doesn't tip you well or doesn't pay good, or you know, you don't need to get, you don't have to have them. You can replace them with somebody else. So the amount of power that you will get is totally worth practicing. But again, now you do need money now. You need money now and you work at Vietnamese Salon is a perfect environment for it. Get your money now. It's fast money. It do require you to hustle a little bit. But prepare for your future is my advice too. Silently prepare for your futures because it's important. Because how long can you do that? How long can you hustle for like that? Mm-hmm. 10 years, 20 years, you're back on the give out on you eventually. Nerves, stress. Prepare Health. for your futures. You know, should write a book. <laughs> mm. uh, thank for speaking. The choose fact. Yes, yes. And I'm not against any, you know, for which is own. It just try to be smart about it because you, it's not forever. It, it's more like you got to understand all the different angles. Yes. But find your niche that makes you comfortable and don't let anybody run over you. Because if you are the owner, that's a totally different advice. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you're owner of it, Nimi Salon, I'll give you totally different advice. Hustle that bitch. Hustle it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Make that bitch work. You know? Mm-hmm. Tell her not too slow. Don't be too obsessive. Make that bitch work. That's a totally different advice. So it depends on who doing what. You know what I mean? Uh, probably this- figure out your goals first. And then that should lay the pathway to it easier. Maybe. Right, right. Over the moon breed and you and you got it. Yeah, yeah. I love your advice and your art and your personality is the best. Thank you. <laughs> this is the most smart conversation that I have heard. Yeah, thank you a lot for your advice. You're welcome. Love considering Okay. You're welcome. Okay. <sighs> tomorrow, tomorrow. Another work, another day of work, but <coughs> alone this time. <coughs> My dad, mom is a best. Great, you uh-huh. say. I'm hungry. She's self adopted. Hello, protocol. Now you're hungry, baby. You gotta be hungry. Yes, protocol. Protocol says he is so true. See you Friday, Linz. Friday is one is Dexter Laboratory. And then I want to do the Harry Potter set alone. I might do the tropical uh, rainforest alone too. And make a video out of it. But I have plenty of content to do on live. I will think of something. Flintstones. Flintstone. Okay. Friday is Flintstone Day. So I do some Flintstone on just the metal and the rings. And then the index and the pinky. I have to think of something smart. Oh. Cheetah print. Cheetah print, but not an easy one. A technique. A oh. cheetah print technique. An ombre technique of cheetah print. Ombre cheetah. Okay. Okay. But I have my cheetah print ah. ombre where where it's like a nude ombre, right? Like you, you ever see a, a like a color ombre like this? Right. But the color part is cheetah print. So that is a little tricky. Okay. Okay. Can you make them um rock looking? You mean like rock star? No, 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 no. Probably like, you know. Petrified? Petrified. Flintstone? Petrified. Flintstones are cavemen. I, I thought Flintstone is colorful. Really kind of drab. They didn't have good colors back in our, oh. our, our growth. Petrified, Everything that's an interesting concept. Muted. No, uh. Um, so it would look good? It's, it's caveman stuff. So I think it's an interesting like, concept. So it's like the whole nail is rock and it's engraved in. Flintstone. I don't know what she. Oh, bedrock, honey. That's where they live. Is bedrock. Oh, a, a bedrock technique. I can do that. Mm-hmm. 
I don't know how, what to where to start, but yes, that's an interesting concept. <laughs> Hello, mm. Nessie. <laughs> Gotta think about that. Mm. Oh, maybe my clear silicone. I just make different colors of clear silicone, and then I can just take a little bit, make it into a bar, put it on as a rock. I can have the whole nails in the uh, bedrock. Okay. With clear silicone. You got a couple of days to think about it. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. No, there can be cheetah in there because remember they're clothes? You cannot have too, too much element in one set. We're gonna so, have to we're gonna have to watch some of the Flintstones. Just one. Okay. Okay. But yes, the cheetah ombre actually uh, something that might be shared. And then the next cartoon after Flintstones was always the Jetsons, so they just <laughs> went back to you went caveman, then futuristic the alien. Jets. Yes, I need to watch it just to to understand a little bit better. I'm not familiar with any cartoon. I think you like the Flintstones. It's funny. You know, I say that, but when we go back and we watch things I watched as a child, I'm like, oh my gosh, how offensive. Love the thought process. Yes, the thought process is... Oh. I don't know if I should teach that. What, what, what? The concept of constructing a design. I don't even know how to even dissect that. It, I, I know it's it's a process I've never seen anyone else do. Yeah. It'll be and lots of translation. I know how your mind just rapid fires from one to the next. And as that's happening, you're building a vision in your mind and it's almost like Legos. It's just being yeah. built. One step at a time. And I don't know how in the heck you could. Yeah, it's a very difficult concept from one step at a time. I, I, give I think you that's part of us. your autism. Yeah, and I don't think that's yeah. an ability that resonates. because when it comes to design, it's just natural to me. But yes, watching the live action too, um, like DC, I haven't done a DC yet. I need to. Hmm. So many things. But land work first, and then you guys can just try to think up something that I should teach. No design though, all technique. Try to think up a technique. I just this. First, I want to teach a land work and ombre, and then what else? You know what I mean? Think about it. I will think about it. Oh, and I also have an idea. On the days that for artist block live. Uh huh. Artist block live. Okay. Because I have my formula. Whenever I'm block, I also have a cheat sheet. Yes. Now that, that is actually have. a simple way of, of designing. That's probably regular people's way of designing. People will eat it up. The the cheese sheet. Yeah. People will eat it up. So many. Teach Pigman not to learn work. Yes. Tech to Chow has already been teach. Um understanding land work. And then there'll be a live that different kind of land work. I'm feeling the the land work highlight gonna have multiple lives, not just one life. Well, I, I've got a way that we could. Uh, I got a way that we could, we could make them do the line work homework and stuff. We'll test them. So you okay. teach the line work, and then they got to send us the test results, and then once they've progressed, then you'll let them into the pigment live lesson. It'll be like. Segregate. Hunger Games. You know the what I mean? You gotta, you gotta advance to get to the level, next level. Ooh, make the art be forever in your favor. Right, Ooh. right. And then yeah. I can sit back and judge and criticize and be like, you are the weakest link. And just shun people. Exterminate. Just exterminate. Oh, I, I feel such power rush. <laughs> good, yes. Off with their head. Off with their heads. Yes. I don't need never clan anymore, so I have all this power in me that I haven't exercised in a while. Right, you know? right, right. I need to use it. At a minimum, you're an addiction, you know? Yes. Oh, make them pay for it, make them suffer. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Yes, yes. Yes, brilliant. 
I wish he saw the lion someone just gave him. Oh, I, I miss a lion. Oh, we, we didn't even pay attention. Can I have the look at the boy behind you? A few people coming about it. No. No. He <laughs> said no. The boy behind me is everything that you have seen on my Instagram. Everything. I just have it on one place. <laughs> no. That's for people that go to beauty show to see me. Yes. See, yes. I have different little things that I give out for certain amount of audience. I don't give out the same things. Like TikTok live is never is on Instagram live. And Instagram live is never is on TikTok. Same thing with people that go to beauty show to see me. That thing that they get that are privilege. Oh, mm -hmm. it's for people. And a minimum touched by Tina. Right. Mm -hmm. I give out a little bait. You know what I mean? Bait. <laughs> There's certain things that are exclusive for just that part alone. Yes, I have a little bait. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. To keep things spicy. Our relationship is like a marriage. You <laughs> have to, like some once in a while, you have to be spicy. You know what I mean? Right, right. That's or else they yeah. cheated on you. Oh, yes. Yeah. I will keep things spicy. I have tricks. I have a lot of tricks. Lots of tricks. Yes. You know, I come to now show in Ohio. Um, it have to be have to be a big one. Uh, so far, I haven't heard anything about Ohio. I'm sure they have beauty show, but Cindy, no one contact Cindy's. Cindy have to be the one that decide. Me, I'm just following Cindy to go to beauty show. Uh, so far, Orlando premiere is a must. I don't know about IBS anymore. Um, I don't like the spot that they give us and. Uh, the location is horrible. I don't think I go to another IBS show. Chicago, I, I, I don't feel it. Or uh, Vegas, I don't feel it neither. So, I don't know about IBS. I feel like we're transitioning into something different. We just yeah. don't quite know yet what yet. I love Orlando Premier. Now, uh, in Sacramento that I'm about to go, on Nail Pro, that'll be my first time. So, I gotta see. Um, San Antonio Premier is the first time they ever have it. So it might be big, a big one. It might be not. It might be a disappointment. So I don't know. Uh, Premier Ohio. Oh, Premier also have in Ohio. Now that different because we love Premier. Premier have done us mm, good. Yes. So that will be a possibility. Tennessee have a great Premier. I love, I'm a big Premier fan. Premier have not let us down yet. IPS a little janky. little janky on the security too. Like IBS New York. We have like $30,000 worth of merchandise stole from us in IBS New York. It's horrible. And they wouldn't do anything about it. Are you coming to Sacramento? Yes. Nail Pro, Sacramento, August. It's in about three or four weeks. I'm excited for August. Premier so in so Florida and California. So I have Florida Premier. I go every year on that. That's written in stone. Um, California. I don't know. I haven't heard anything about California. Hi, Pri. Well, we're going to Sacramento. Sacramento, yes. In Nail Pro, for Nail Pro. Uh, they want me to be a judge of a contest, but I, I declined it because um, I want all the time to be at my booth to demonstrate. Oh, I, I think you... Oh, I don't know. You could have... Judges get bribes. Mm. You could have got bribed uh, something. Uh, I'm not a big fan of judging. Well, me because me, but we in this to to share it for everyone to empower everyone so it's kind of go grand the grand of what we're doing to to judge you know and to pick our winner i think that's really bullshit because judging the judges alone it just, are just human you know they now artists they just popular now artists you know what i mean so at the end of the day it's still a human opinions to decide who is the best really who to and decide that, that, who is the worst and who is the best right you know because that to me that two person could be great at different field of their own you know what i mean uh -huh. so for to me to pick out the winner of 50 people i'm not i'm really is against it 
And because. that's why if you go with the bribery system, it's whoever pays the most, <laughs> then there's no choice. You'd be like, you know. You know, <laughs> that's, that's the, for me, it's unfair to pick out a winners, really. Because no, people really can be great difficult. at different areas. Because we're trying to empower people, not make right. them compete. All right. All right, everyone. Uh, and TSA yeah, said it wasn't six. Could walk or see you in Sacramento and California. You know, now show is an incredibly um, stressful environment. Like, if you come to see she me. She wouldn't enjoy it. Yeah, you. I don't think you would enjoy it because if you come to see me, <coughs> you probably have like a minute before I move on to the next person. Because in now, sh in now show, I really are uh, jumping from one person to another, like constantly. Like sometimes I speak to this person for three seconds and jump to that person. I mean, I I speak to 30 people the, at the one The minimum point. I've ever seen piled around is 13. 13 people, that's a lot for a minimum. But I want to have like 50 people, especially in Orlando for me, I have 50 people at once. I mean, that's crowded. That's usually what you have around you. You just don't realize it because you're cranking out the nails. But right. Every time I'm not by your side, it's because I'm outside waiting right. back. So, so if you, we know each other personally, then you might feel a little left out at beauty show. You know when? Because yeah. beauty so is a chaos environment. It's not an environment to hang people out. people everywhere. Yeah. Like Jenny, Jenny, my friend Jenny, I show, you know how many, how much time I talk to her? I talk to her like a minute. And that not even at show, it's a day of setup. I talk to her for a minute, but a day at show, I don't even have time to say hi to her. And she walked by, like, I take a picture with her, and that's literally like 30 seconds, and then that's it. So, at show, it's not really an environment to hang out. Show is really, it's business, it's hustle. You yeah. know what I mean? It's and performing. Got, and then, no matter like where she would be walking, show. they would be picking at her, saying, Hey, you need this, you need that. And people that have time to walk around, I don't. I don't. People are surrounding me all the time. I'm demonstrating the technique. I don't even have time to demonstrate in design. I'm jumping on one technique after another, and I'm literally don't have time to drink. I don't have time to eat. You know, doesn't have to try to force me to drink, and I'm literally going like a machine. But from nine o'clock to you're like so six o'clock. So happy with it though. Yes, it is very. I'm like on rush, on adrenaline rush. Adrenaline. So, yeah. <laughs> um, if they know you personally, they should. Um, should take it personally, like 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 a person like let's say um, Giant Tolini, Jane. You know what I mean? A long time ago, when we go to beauty show in Chicago, we say, oh, when we go there, we might meet up a little bit. I think she got a wrong impression, and she, you know, when um, we at beauty show, when you we set up the first day, we immediately hit some sort of chaos, so we have to deal with that chaos, and the next day go to show immediately from sun up to sundown so we forgot to contact her you know what i mean mm -hmm. and she think that we left her out or anything like that oh no you awfully don't go to beauty show before because beauty show environment we are swimming in chaos literally everywhere you go yes it's not really a good place to like hang out hang out it's a good place to meet people that never know you because that's people that haven't heard of me before. It's perfect opportunity for them because they're like, "Oh, what's this? That's so amazing!" And they they kind of get drawn into that, and then they start to get to know me, and then they meet me online on Instagram when I do live, when I a little more relaxed. You know what I mean? We have time to bring you camel back. Filled with coconut. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I work at Orlando Premier for the first time. See, Sarah, so you know what I'm talking about. Total chaos. But I am living for it because when I'm near people, especially a lot of people, I mean, on, on live, sure, I feed on people, but not like when I actually see people in person. I feed on energy, so I the more people, the more high energy I become. Mm -hmm. When I hang out with two or three people, then I'm at low energies, super low. But when I'm hanging out with like, let's say a, a group of people, then my energy get rising up. It's, it's very unique. When uh, is a color theory comment that now you have gel. So the moment the gel is on the website, um, I wanna start mixing. 
a mixing class. Now, a mixing class is just for me to go over all the colors <coughs> and I mix it for you 50 50. That should be simple and basic. 144 color, you should know how to mix it because I have a chart for you. So that's basic. Sure. Then I will have another live on understanding color. And when I say understanding color, that's just three colors red, yellow, and, and blue. That's all you get. Black and white to make it powder or darker. That's it. And that will be a co more complicated life. Uh, for you to completely understand and color and have control of it, you need like three different lives. It's coming. It's coming. <sighs> Just give it time. Do you ship to South Africa? Yes, Rene. I ship uh, globally. So, on Tina Voda Shop, we ship around the world and we ship to many countries in Africa. As long as you ever have US ship to you, I ship to you also. All right, everyone. Let's, let's some of these last people just slid in and let them know we followed them from the Destino account, which is your backup account. We'd yes. appreciate it if they follow back. Yes, yeah, so right now we have an account called Destino. And what Dustin does is try to build the follower up to a thousand because when the follower get to a thousand, then we can do double screen. You can see me in my process and you can see the now. So double screening, it requires the other account to be eligible. So it need to have a thousand follower. So what Dustin do is that he follow you and then he want you to follow back that account so we can build our follower up to a thousand. Because then we can do double live. It's clear silicone, no wipe. It is non-wipe, but not for not for the finishing. Like if you want clear silicone to you want to boost clear silicone on and then just no top coat and let them go out the door. Uh after two weeks, it might fade a little bit. If you want it to be high gloss, you should always top coat it with shine it on clear silicone. Um clear silicone is no wipe to adhere on chrome. So if you put silicone on and then you cure it, you take it out, you can rub chrome immediately on it because it's not white for that purpose. Um, but I usually uh, put on a little bit of chrome base after that and double chrome in it so it's like flawless. Uh, I haven't, but I will have a live on clear silicone soon too. Oh, uh, I will have and have it ready just to tag me or something because I have zero attention span. That's what electric nail say. Yeah, so the account that just follow just you, you, he just want you to follow it back so we can build our follow up to a thousand. So that's when we do double screen. Double screen is something that we do on Instagram. All right. I see no more question left. Okay, Angel got her question done. And Jelly X now she got her question done. Okay. All right. Everyone, bye bye. I will see you later on Friday. Have a good day, everyone. Okay. Bye bye, Tara.